Here you are. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, are you sure you don't need the toilet? No, thank you. OK. Well, we're going to have a fine time. We'll be long. How's Oscar setting in? Oh, surprisingly well. Oh, has he moved into the office? He has made a little land grab there, yes. <laughs> and how's things at home? Well, he's a little quiet, but on the whole, we seem to have struck up quite a rapport. I hear that you're back on the floor. Well, you know, a couple of surgeons down, so needs must. Yeah, the dreaded norovirus. Mm -hmm. Well, if you need any help. Hopefully I won't, but thank you. Ah, doing some drawing. Yeah. Can I see? Oh, a secret picture. Excellent. The school of secrecy was always my favourite artistic movement, you know. Sorry to bother you. That's all right. Hi, Oscar. So, uh, you just keep an eye on Rasmus' robot and I'll be back very soon. So, uh, how can I help? Mrs Keelan's fully conscious. Right. Hello, Mrs Keelan. My name's Henry Hansen. We have your blood test results and they indicate anemia. Oh, I'll get that. You are dehydrated, which may explain why you are somewhat disorientated. Your chest x-ray shows an odd shadow on the lung, so we'd like to run a few more tests. Understand what I'm saying? So I'll need a CT scan on chest, abdomen and pelvis. And if you need me, I'll be in the office. Oh! oh. In the name of the... Sorry, sorry. Uh, who's your friend? I thought he might interest Oscar. Yeah? Children like skeletons, don't they? Uh, yeah, well, they're always a big hit at Halloween. Exactly. Uh, how is he coping? Well, he seems to have rather gone back into his shell today. It's early days. I hope so. Have you looked into childcare? Not yet, no. Well, that's far from ideal, just having him in the office all day. Yeah, there's no other option. Well, maybe you should consider a nanny, if his mother doesn't come back soon. Oh, she will, I'm sure. Thank you. We have your test results. Can this wait? It turns out that June was on her way here to see her husband when she collapsed. He's having a heart operation. Right. He'd be worried sick, wondering where I am. If we could just discuss your test results first, please. And then we can check on your husband. Fine. So, your scan shows that you have an enlarged ovary. OK. You also have lesions on your lungs, liver and spine. Right. So we need to do a biopsy to confirm, but it appears you have ovarian cancer, which has spread to other areas of the body. Apart from that, I'm a picture of health. I'm so sorry, June. Can it be treated? There is some treatment available, but it is not necessarily a cure, I'm afraid. So I'm destined for the knacker's yard. I've made an appointment with an oncologist for you, and they'll handle your case from here on in. Just thought it was aches and pains from all the lifting. Lifting? Uh, I'm Roger's carer. Uh, it's my husband. He hasn't been well for years. Well, we'll give you a blood transfusion. That should make you feel a little better in the short term. Doesn't sound like there's going to be much of a long term. Well, let's just wait and see what the specialist got to say, OK? OK. So we've got the bad news out of the way. Now can I go and see him? Um, your knee bone or patella is connected to your thigh bone or femur. Your thigh bone's connected to your hip bone. I don't think osteology is quite your thing, is it? You hungry? Thought I might get us a nice sandwich. Would cheese be all right for you, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too.
Are you Coming taking through. the... Out of the way, please. Out of the way. Move. Straight to theatre. Dom. Wait. Oscar? Oscar? What are you doing under there? Huh? Oh, no, Jepop. Very good. Very good. I've got some sandwiches here. Let's get you up in your chair. Good lad. There you go. Good boy. Make room for the sandwich. There. Napkin for you, sir. Thank you. Now. Open it up. So. Sandwich for you. Now, I don't like the tomato, so what I'm going to do is take it out, like so. There we are. Ah, perhaps it runs in the family. Oh, you don't like lettuce either. Well, that's all right. Not everybody is fond of greenery, are they? And it's a no to the cheese as well. Mmm, quite nice. When I was a boy, I used to talk to my chess men. I just felt that they understood me better than any human did. I've got this chess set here, look. So, if ever you have something on your mind, you can tell this little fellow here. Jitter? Indeed. How did it go with the skeleton? Let's just say that Oscar's ribs were not particularly tickled. He's still quiet. Positively Trappist, I'm afraid. Well, it's not surprising, is it, really, when you consider he's living with a grandfather he barely knows and wondering where on earth his mother has gone. You'll get there. Well, I... I never did with my own son. Well, we all learn from our mistakes. Or we are destined to repeat them ad infinitum. I fear my indifference as a father continues to pay a very dark dividend. Well, this boy, he, he might be the chance for you to at least put some of that behind you. Hey, keep the faith. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> right on cue. We need someone down. Can I get you anything, Oscar? A glass of water, maybe? That on them. Ah, your masterwork is revealed. Very good. Is that person me? Yes. You spoke? Yes. Very good. And is that person you? It's about the scrubs. You've been feeling sad today because I've been wearing my funny blue pyjamas. Do you think that's because your mother has taken you to so many hospitals? Yes. Now, listen. Those clothes are nothing to be frightened of at all. They're called blue scrubs, and they are like uh, a uniform. Like Rasmus, he always wears his white outfit. Well, it's the same with me and my blue pyjamas, and when I'm wearing those, it just means that I'm going to make one of my patients feel better. Understand? So, you're not scared of me now, then? No, Grandpa. Very good. Very glad to hear it. Oh. 
I didn't know Rasmus is a dancer. Just a moment. I think I've got some music he might like. We'll probably have to join in, help him out a bit. Ready? Follow me. 